Hello and welcome to this video on top and bottom fermenting yeast. When brewing beer, there are two main categories of yeast, top and bottom. These closely tie into the production of ale or lager. Both of these are distinct types of beer that require different fermentation temperatures, yeast and ingredients. This is because they have selected for specific traits over the centuries of use. Ale is a beer brewed at a standard room temperature of around 20 degrees centigrade. It is sweeter than a lager and traditionally had no hops, but this has changed. Ale was historically brewed during summer and autumn when the wheat harvest was brought in. These are temperate seasons and so the yeast needs to function and will do so between 10 and 25 degrees centigrade. Ale yeasts are generally regarded as top fermenting yeasts since they rise to the surface during fermentation. This creates a pronounced yeast head. By contrast, there are lager yeasts, which cover your bottom fermenting yeast varieties for a number of reasons. While cold stored beer, which is called lagering, was done in caves for centuries, particularly pronounced in the medieval period, the advent of fridges and modern technology allowed it to be done year-round, rather than the historical winter brewing. This fact is consolidated by the way some municipalities would ban brewing of lager outside of winter. This leads to the modern yeast strains that are tolerant of both low temperatures and a high ethanol content. Bottom fermenting yeasts are rather obviously used in the production of lager beer. Lager uses a process of cold fermentation. These yeast strains are best used between 7 and 15 degrees centigrade. At this temperature, lager, like most yeast, will grow slowly. Under other circumstances, this would be important as the yeast would fall out of suspension and form a cake which would prevent fermentation. However, lager ferments slowly, even when at the bottom of the fermenter. Looking at these two broad categories of beer are based on when and how you brew today, and when and how beer has been brewed historically. The way each behaves might be a little hard to grasp without seeing it. Here are two bottles, one with ale yeast and the other with lager yeast. You can see how the ale yeast has a much larger head than the lager. This is because lager ferments slowly by comparison to the ale. This means slower reproduction, slower fermentation and an overall reduced speed for the process. In broad terms, we use twice as much yeast in the lager bottle to reach a comparable yeast head and fermentation rate to the ale, both at exactly the same temperature. These are useful traits when you are trying to reach a high alcohol volume or working with cold conditions, to name a few. Broadly speaking, top and bottom yeasts have a large overlap in the temperature they work at, what they do and why. At the same time, ale works in high heat and ferments quicker. The process of producing lager will create a beer with crisp flavours, but less pronounced flavours like you would find in an ale. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it interesting, consider liking, sharing and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions below.